Okay, you know the drill. <laughs> Please take a few minutes to settle into your chair. Allow yourself to relax, sort of melt into the chair and simply breathe. Breathe in. Feel the air enter your lungs, refreshing your energy throughout your body, and breathe out. Let go of any intention, tension from your body and your mind. Breathe in. Accept new energy and love. Breathe out and release. Breathe in movement. Breathe out stasis. As you continue to breathe in and out, choose one problem in your life that you'd like to either solve or release. Is it an old habit you practice but would like to let it go? Or is it a problematic person who you just don't? like, where your energy gets riled up? Does the problem seem intractable or puzzling such that you can't figure out what to do? Take a big, deep breath and let the air out completely and choose what troubling issue you'd like to address and take a moment to do that. You may feel some fear but do it anyway. Now, create in your mind an object that represents this issue. You could imagine holding a crystal to represent the spiritual lesson of the issue. Perhaps a letter you need to write to someone, whether to send or not, or a photo of the problem. Maybe it's even a symbol representing the difficulty Whatever it is, tuck it into your pocket and imagine walking with me. It's the loveliest, the most beautiful summer day you can imagine. Sunny, flowers are blooming, there's a blue sky with passing clouds, birds are singing, and the temperature is very comfortable. You're walking on a path on a hill through a meadow. The wind is just enough to keep the heat off of you. And as you do this, sparkling stone steps appear and beckon you to follow them into a quiet glen of trees. You find that there is a remarkable pond in the middle of the trees, something you've never seen before. It's peaceful blue and purple waters with the crystals all around the edge. And as you peer in, you see the clearest water you have ever seen. You look down unafraid, seeing the bottom, which is made up of beautiful stones. And you understand that this is a sacred and healing place. You have some have come to release your problem in the form of an object or image, even if you can neither articulate the issue nor understand it all. It doesn't matter. You have a choice. Some of you will think the right and intuitive thing is to completely immerse yourself in this unusual pond to fully get a sense of being thoroughly cleansed. Should you jump in and do this, release the object to the bottom where it's purified. Some of you may choose to just throw in your object, say a mantra or a prayer, and allow something greater than you to take on the burden. Regardless, Please look at your object now and say to yourself, I choose to no longer wait for good things to happen. I will allow resolution on all levels to occur 
whether I get it or not, and I choose to release this now. And so, let go of the object, letter, crystal, or whatever you have to the depths of the pond where it dissolves. You are trusting your higher power or powers and allowing your intuition to guide you. It's done. You know you will be okay. In fact, more than okay. You are relieved on so many levels. You forgot you could ask for help and that spirit will help you solve anything if you let the process unfold. So now you leave the Glen with gratitude and using the stone pathway, you climb up to the meadow. You feel an assuredness that you have not felt for a long time. Walk through the meadow on this wonderful and perfect summer day. Feel yourself float gently back into the sanctuary, back into your seat. Refreshed, easy in spirit and mind, and knowing that you are loved and supported. Take in a long breath and slowly let it go. You have released. You are now back in the sanctuary, knowing for sure that movement and wholeness are coming into your life. Welcome back.